Ooh. Ah, it's the Magister. I forgot about you. Anyway. So. Yeah, let's have a look. I mean, all the death fog around here doesn't seem to be, like, too nice. Despite the very nice sounding Every name. Everything's very dark all of a sudden. Ooh. Ah, great. And we're all decaying. That will be fun. And I'm kind of paranoid about the scarecrows. I don't know. Ah, you try to play Original Sin. Mm, the games are really specific, I guess, like a very certain appeal they have. But especially the second one, I can really recommend if you didn't play it. I'd say the second one is better than the first. I also really enjoyed the first one, though. But, um... The first one really doesn't take itself too seriously, I guess. Oh, you played Ego Draconis. I never played that, actually. Do you think if we attack the Scarecrows, they are going to attack us? Ah, that's a suffocating Scarecrow. I don't know how this works. Whoa! Ground's trembling almost as bad as a Lady Vengeance on rough seas. Yeah, the question now is where to go. Mm. I'd say we go right first, because this place seems very secluded. And then we can go to the left. Did we even explore around here? I don't think so, right? Hmm. I really don't like that we are all decaying. I wonder... Can we bless it? Uh, at least I guess that it gets reapplied once the blessing is away. Huh? Ah, yeah. There it is again. You, we have the chest. It's just like wondering if there's anything to loot. Right, Seville. And we all look so damn diseased. <laughs> what the decaying. <laughs> there we go. Let me just put a marker here. So that we don't forget it, or that I don't forget it, to be honest. I have 500 hours in BG3. Wow, that's insane. I think I have just like 300, 350 or something like that. My most played games would be Sims 4, Fire Emblem 3 Houses. That's amazing. Skyrim, I also really enjoyed that. Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Animal Crossing New Horizon. I never really got into Animal Crossing. I don't know, I think, for me, it lacks kind of direction. Um, I don't know. I do get the appeal, but it just doesn't work for me, I guess. Hmm, lots of dead magisters. I wonder what happened here, and why is there fire raining down? And why are we decaying? like a cursed area but I mean if so what is cursing it <laughs> and Fane enjoys running around here and I mean looks like there used to be people living here go uh, I think we lost quite a lot of our party Damn poison. And here you go, and there. Right. Let's just wait for our party to reunite. Would you two recommend Igor Dakonis? I mean, I really love Divinity Original Sin, so... I so was curious about playing that one as well. Hmm. Hmm. A shocked cow. Which is decaying. Oh, we can also go to this middle part from here. You know, I'm kinda curious. 
Can we jump there? We can. I'd say, let's have a look around, right? It looks absolutely horrible. <laughs> and still things are burning. Did they, did the Magisters just drop some death folk on this village? Is that what happened? <laughs> oh, you can't recommend Igorette Connors. Oh boy, why not? Okay, we are going to go down. And what's the worst that could happen? Death folk all around us. Got a dagger. And... You know, I just hope we can go back up again. But I mean, then again, we do have a waypoint. Not much left of this house. Uh, oh, there are people down here. Oh, there are enemies down here. Elder of Passing. Elder of en Enkindling. Elder of Mending. They're elves. But they all look pretty undead. Hmm. Okay. Guess we have a fight at our hands. And we can get down here. Hmm. Ah, come on, Loso. Let's say we just charge North Loso. If the camera is allowing that. Yeah, Elder of Mending really sounds like the healer. Here we go. Okay, all of you have to hide. Wait, I can see it from Solora? Interesting. And then we will just, one by one, join the battle. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I mean, if it's just like three enemies, it shouldn't be too hard. It's a lot different to the original Sin games and more action focused. Fully 3D, but it's kind of fun. But yeah, the ending is a bit weird. Mm. I might just give it a try just to see for myself. I mean, more divinity is always great. Uh, it seems like it's really hard to just aim downwards. Come on, Sibyl. Did you see the wings flapping outside of the barrel? <laughs> well, self pro. But yeah, it seems like we have three enemies, right? Yeah. Ah, that will be over quickly. Mm, let's go for the healer first. They all have quite a lot of mm, quite a lot of magical armor, except for you. But let's go and heal them. Yes. So they all have less physical armor, we're also going for the physical wolf. I would love for the fire whip just to have longer range, but well. Can we do that? Ah, let's hope it works. Yeah. Uh, rock and hard place. Should have checked that first. Here we go. And last but not least, beast. And I'd say we just heal them some more. Alright. Here we go. If we could just knock them both down, let's do that. Hmm. I don't like that you're so far away now. A meteor shower also doesn't sound very fun to be inside of that. Nice. 
Honestly, there are a lot better games than Eagle Dead Connors for the drum draw. I think, in general, it's an older game, so I would mainly play it for um, just playing more Divinity and Out of Love for Larian. I think that would be like the main reason. Mm, I could freeze you, but... Ah, let's go with Winter Blast. Mosquitoes. I'm definitely just going to teleport him down. Yeah. Should have waited for Ethan to boost. Oh well. Uh, you are not immune to fire, that's nice. So, here we go. And again, I don't think we really need to boost the wolf because the fight is almost over. So let's not do that. But it's so sad to see more dead elves, especially given that most of them were killed before the story starts. I'll yield to none. Yes. And. That could be enough, actually. Come on. Here we go. Right. Want of the Elder. Ooh, those are really nice boons. Uh, let's just give it to Fane, cause of the Geomancing boon. Those we can just sell. Hmm. Hmm. I mean. Seeing that we got a resurrection scroll, let's just have a look if we repair our idol. Because I always forget that. Uh, apparently it is functional. I've spotted something. Ooh. Uh, but no attribute bonus, so let's sell it. What kind of character did you play in BG3, Toro? Okay, I think that's actually it. Kinda expected more, but well. Let's go back. Oh boy. <laughs> Just when I went over with the camera. Nice. Mm -hmm. Let's don't forget to actually equip the wand. Uh, here we go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't change my name for each class. That would be dedication, Toro Wizard, Toro Sorcerer, Toro Bard. But was that like Toro, the first name for your Taff, or is that not connected at all? Hey. Ah, oh, poor cow. What is a cow still doing here? Ooh. Yes, yes, bird. Hmm, that's a creepy cow. Lavender looks at the cow, Askins. Are you enjoying the destruction here? Your kind has been dismembering and burning mine since time immemorial. I must admit, the smell of charred human flesh is so very enticing. Hmm. You know, you're... Uh -oh. oh boy. You should be herbivore. You shouldn't be enjoying the smell of meat. Yikes. I mean, we also could have gone the different way, like around here. I don't really know where the right, the right path is to follow. <laughs> this cow woke up and chose violence. Mm-hmm. A little bit too enthusiastic about that. 
The earth is shaking. Hmm, at least this house seems mostly intact. I mean, at least compared to the other homes. Uh, but with the chest there, it really seems like there will be an ambush. You know, since we're smart, or at least sometimes pretend to be, Hmm. I really expect it to be attacked. Maybe I'm just growing paranoid. Uh, leadership is really great. Let's see if someone else needs it. And finesse, we don't need that one. What's that? Aha. Uh -huh. See? I had every right to be paranoid. Uh, hmm. Interesting, now they all have mainly magical armor. Uh, I don't like that. Oh, I'll still be around, please. Ah, uh, he actually went away. There's no paranoia, there's only Elder God waiting to attack. Yeah. Usually this game rewards being paranoid, I think. Yeah. Are you undead? Or are you just looters? Oh no, just looters. Why? Thank you for trying to kill me. Oh damn, he's smoke he has a smoke cloud. Ah, so this way. Also, just remember that I, sh oh no. that I should maybe try to avoid this from happening. Here we go. Where is this meteor shower coming from? And ah, now you're fortified. Um... Just takes way too many AP to just walk. Dude, I think you will be my target. You're just way too close. Here we go. Yield to none. 80% poison resistance. Great. Let's give another turn to Sabeel. Here we go, Sabeel. Let's have a look at your resistances. Are you... Ah, no fire resistance. I like that. Uh, fire absorbance. I don't like that. And how about you? Where do you get the fire immunity from? Ah, uh, it's an aura effect. Um, I mean, the wolf will be quite useless anyway. Pretty soon. Here we go. Let's boost him, and maybe we can teleport him around. That might be smart. Ah, that's so cool to use um, characters in VG3 which you create for other games, or like pen and paper versions of the game. Really nice when they feel so familiar. You know, I'm. I think I will just wait with uh, Beast. Uh, you're not undead, right? Should remember that before I'm going to heal you. Decaying touch? Ah, you're too far away. Uh, do you think this is still counting as backstabbing? I don't know. I don't think so. Nope. 
It's just your average critical hit. Damn it. Uh, they all have way too much magical armor. Ah, uh, move away, dog. It's like such a waste. Anyway. Then again, they're all decaying. I could have used just the healing abilities. Yeah, next time. Okay. Let's visit you. Ah, oh, great. Mm, oh, yeah. Just working once per turn. Otherwise, that would have been nasty. See if Dagger Storm is enough for you. Almost. Okay. Yeah, I think now we will spend just like lots and lots of AP just going here to the edge. Uh, here we go. Yeah, I'm sorry, Fane. You will also waste like most of your turn. Mm. It wasn't the best sneak start of this fight. Who do we have to kill to disable the auras? A chief looter. Kinda makes sense, I guess. So much fire. I mean, then. I got too far? Am I blinded? I am. Okay, I won't complain. It makes sense. I'll yield to none. Here we go. I wonder if all the, those meteorites showering down. How is even anything of this house still left and standing. There we go. Come on, decay. Do your magic. Uh, let's hear this guy here. Okay, beast. Now you have to transport our wolf over there. Uh, I'm just thinking about what's the smartest way. Just teleporting him in? Yeah, probably right. Because we could also just swap two characters. Come on, wolf. And on top of you. Is that enough? Nice. No more fire immunity. I take everything back. Everyone having the DK status is actually quite fun. Okay, let's try that again. More. Nice. At a different place. Destruction. And I can't attack you again. How boring. Nope. Why do you want to run? Oh, seriously? Okay, we have to restore the idol. <laughs> um, yeah. And I can't reach you because of this damn wood. Ah, come on. Nope. Perfect cover. Let's do it like this. I mean, she's also almost dead, so... Just a bit of time. Like this. Is this going to work? No. Sad. Can 
we... No. Ah, oh, damn. Because of the totem. And blitz attack? Is that enough? How many HP do you have left? One. Great. Winter Blast. Nice. Very cool. Or rather hot, I guess. Okay, let's quickly restore our idol. My brain decides that that's not important. And let's see if there's something nice they have. Oh, golden cup. There's so many nice arrows you can find, and I'm not using any of those. Uh, I think Sibyl also has, like, yeah, vulture shoes. Gotta stick with them. By the way, fun fact, you can actually also destroy those letters and stuff, um, just like in BG3. And if you do not have any way of teleporting, it can be really annoying. Especially if you don't destroy them intentionally, but they just get destroyed during, um, during the fight. Okay, let's leave this desolate place. Uh, who's staying behind Loso? Which makes sense, because she's disconnected. I'd propose that we do this part here first. Um, and maybe try to find out where the curse is coming from and all those meteorites. And then later on we we'll take care of... I think here we have Bruce Anlon, right? Nice. That will be really cool. I'm also very curious, because both Sibyl and Ethan want to go there. Like, who has priority? Do we have to decide? might be a little bit far. Let's see? Ah, well, don't mind me. Nice. More dead farmers. Okay, let me go back there. Hmm, and there's an autosave. Anything interesting here? At least I don't see a chest, but maybe it's hidden. Yeah, let's have a look. I've spotted something. Mm-hmm. Beneath the fire. Walk back. Ooh. Plus three constitution, plus three memory, plus three perseverance. That sets grounded. I'm not really sure what grounded means. And minus half movement. That's... Mm, I do like my movement. I'd say we're just going to try it out. Let's see. What does grounded do? Cannot be targeted by teleportation skills. That doesn't seem to be that bad. Hmm. But she's really, really slow with that. Uh. And I don't think we need the memory. I mean, we could, of course, swap it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure. Let's try it out. Let's use it and let's see if she's like becoming too slow and then we're going to swap back. Let's bring the rest of the party to Sibyl. Quick save, of course we're surrounded by fire. And death fog. Doesn't seem like the nicest environment here. <laughs> 